Welcome to William Carey Wednesday. My name is Mikaya Vincent and I'm an admissions counselor here at William Carey University. Today I'm with Dr. Newcaster. He is the Dean of the Newcaster School of Arts and Letters. We are standing in the Carey Center, which this center is based on William Carey the man. And what's so neat is this is our namesake, so I'm excited for him to tell us more about it today. Well, one of the purposes of the Carey Center is to show that Dr. Carey was not only a world-class missionary in the 18th and 19th centuries, but that he also uh, was in fact a world-class linguist, Bible translator, social reformer, and scientist. So our displays and our collection are both designed to, to indicate the multifaceted aspects of Carey's contributions and is an excellent source of, of identity for our institution. I have here one of Dr. Carey's original botanical works. Uh, this is Hortus Bengalensis, published in 1814. It literally means the Garden of Bengal. Wow. It is a very, very careful scientific study and scheme of organization for all the plants that were contained in the Botanic Garden in Calcutta, India in the early 19th century. Amazing. As a result of this and one other work, a work called Flora Indica, Carey was invited to become a fellow of the Linnean Society of London. And as we always tell people who tour here, whether they be uh, college students or young people or older folks who may be interested in botany and gardening, uh, getting invited to be a fellow of the Linnean Society means that you've made a major contribution to botanical science. 